Good evening. Today in competency based learning, myself Jayaprakash Singh is presenting today activity that is the uh, paper folding activity. Today I am going to present the paper activity. By this activity I am going to uh, prove the Pythagoras theorem. So here the path, uh, paper I have taken paper as you can see the A4 size paper is here. So I will fold the paper I will fold the paper and to make a square as you can see here I am making a square so after making a square what I am doing is making a square by folding a paper so so here is the square as you can see now this is the square as you can see this is a square by now by folding the each corner i am going to make four triangle of this paper so i am folding this corner as you can see i am folding this corner is folded now again folding another corner that is the we have to match this line that is the this one this line will match it with this line and then we'll pull it the next corner in this way now again another corner we have to match this line one with this one so i'm folding another corner Now opening and with same triangle another folding is left so we will left fold the another corner matching the line segment. So in this way we have folded the line. So what we get four triangles one, one, two, three and four with a square in the uh, middle portions. So a square sheet has been divided in five point five uh, portions that is the four triangle uh, and the one square. So we will get this type of the figure. So here we have uh, got in this type of the figure we will get this type of the figure. Now triangles there is one triangle two three and four and this one is the five portion that is the fifth portion is this one that is the square. Now uh, we will find the area that is the area of uh, uh, um, square and with the area of the squares and the area of the triangles we will prove the Pythagoras theorem. So they, you can see here that is this, this portion from here to here it is the base it is B and again all the triangles have same base so they have B B and B base. Now from this portion to this portion that is the altitude that is the a as you can see that is the height you can say height or altitude and then what will be the length of the smaller square so it will be a minus b so this portion from here to here this is the total is a so we will subtract b we will get a minus b now we have obtained the uh, sides of the square we have uh, put the value of the uh, triangles that is base of triangles and the altitude as you can see altitude is a so we can prove Pythagoras theorem with the help of the um, uh, uh, that is the square and the triangles so uh, Pythagoras theorem can be proved as you can see Pythagoras theorem theorem uh, by paper activity so the uh, if the side of the uh, 
a square that is the larger square side of larger square is side of larger square square equal to c square let's see that will be the c square the side of uh, equal to c so area of larger square area of larger square equal to c square now what will be the area of triangle so here we will get the value of area of triangle area of triangle equal to 1 by 2 base is given that is the b and that is the height that is altitude that is a now so area of four triangle will be area of four triangle will be b equal to 4 multiply 1 by 2 1 by 2 base into height that is lt2 now area of a smaller triangle a square a square equal to side square that is the side square and side is given a minus b whole square now the area of larger square area of larger square will be equal to that will be equal to the sum of the all the uh, area of triangles and the square a smaller square so area of larger square area of large square larger square you can say square equal to area of a smaller square plus area of four triangle so we can get that is the c square c square that is area of a large one that is the as its sides are c c as you can see c c and we have uh, accepted that is c so c square equal to area of a smaller square that is the a minus b whole square it is given here plus 4 into 1 by 2 p into a as the area of 4 the square is given here so we will get c square equal to or we will get c square equal to a square plus b square minus 2 ab or plus that is the we will get 2 ab so 2 ab 2 ab will cancel or we will get c square equal to a square plus b square that is the pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem that is the hypotenuse equal to the uh, base into side square that is the height square so the uh, we have obtained the pythagoras values that is it is a pythagoras triplet so we can uh,